extraordinarily popular at the moment. It certainly is. And production's up, so there's, there's a lot of Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand at the mid price range. And if we were talking about how the New Zealanders would say it, we'd say, it's a savage. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It really makes my skin crawl when people say sav for Sauvignon. When they say, I'll have some cab sav, please. That really, oh, I hate so it. So you don't want me to be saying, and it's savalicious then. No, <laughs> we're hoping we found some that are savalicious, but please, let's think of it. Okay, way. I'll restrain myself for the rest yeah. of the program. So, we've sorted the grape from the chaff for you. And yeah, we've pushed the boat out on a few of the prices here, but we wanted to show you some of the stars from the country. Yeah. Now, for this wine, the boat is still firmly anchored regarding price. Yeah, it is, because it's $5.99 on offer at Majestic. It's normally $7.49, but on multi-buy until yeah. the 18th of July, um, you can get it at $5.99. It's called a Fairly Estate. It's, um, it's from Marlborough, and it's the 2010 vintage. Thank you very much. Ooh. It knocks your socks off the smell. Lovely. Quite a pea poddy smell, isn't it? Not gooseberry-ish. No, yeah. Yes, it is, definitely. Very green. Mm. Refreshing. Now, almost all New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc is in screw cap. I would say all of it, but um, there's bound to be somebody still putting a cork in it. And that's because you want it fresh. You want the absolute closure, and you want all those fresh, light, zingy aromas and tastes to be retained. Well, it certainly smells in the glass as if it's going to be that kind of wine, doesn't it? Lovely. Very, very bright people as well. New Zealand Sauvignon certainly wakes you up, doesn't it? It does. Really. Yeah. Bright and exciting flavour. Not that you'd want to be having it at 9 o'clock in the morning, but it would certainly get you going if you did. <laughs> That's lovely. Pea potty, fresh acidity. It's, it's what you want in New Zealand Sauvignon. Yeah. Because really, there are three things you're looking for in New Zealand Sauvignon. You want the gooseberry floral, the strong fruity gooseberry taste. You want the fresh acidity, and then you need the purity. And you've got all those three things in this glass, haven't Certainly you? Certainly have. Yeah. So it's delivering, and at, at such a, an offer price, that's that's doing really well. Yeah. Now we're pushing that boat out a little. Uh, we're staying with another one from Marlborough. And this time it's St. Clair Pioneer Block. It's the 2010 vintage again. And this one again is from Majestic and normally $15.99 a bottle, but on multi-buy it's $12.79. And it's from the vineyard they're called Bird Block, so lots of blocks to remember. Oh, oh I can smell it just as it's I'm just pouring gorgeous, it. isn't it? Amazing. Now on my forum on Quaffles Offers. Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, which we call MSB because we talk about it so much we need to, is the most discussed wine. Um, and Goose Gobs, who is the most ardent Sauvignon fan, he, um, he says the search is over, that this is the perfect, the perfect, and boy has he done some research, uh, this is the perfect New Zealand Sauvignon. Well, I just smelt it, and I'm just getting grapefruit. It's jumping out of this Zingy glass. grapefruit, isn't it? And Actually, I quite like that in my Sauvignon Blanc, so I'm quite excited about this too. Mm. That's such weight, isn't it? Lovely. Very zingy, grapefruity taste. I've only got two words to say. Love it! It's, it's just perfect, isn't it? It is. It is the grapefruit, but I'm also getting that passion fruit, mm. which it's quite a thing in Marlborough Sauvignon. Yeah, and it's to fresh, me, isn't it? Like yeah. it's just a cut passion yeah. fruit. Yeah, it reminds me of making my favourite passion fruit cheesecake. And you cut those passion fruits and you get that smell. And then you, you blend it all. And there's usually a little bit of juice that you're not yeah. using the cheesecake left at the bottom. And you just 
put it in your and mouth. It's tart. Oh, yes, yeah. it's tart and exciting. Oh, it's just this is that. You know, yeah. I'm happy for the rest of the day now. Mm. So we're still pushing that boat out, and this is the Craggy Range Temuna Road. It's a single vineyard Sauvignon Blanc, 2009 vintage. It's in Majestic. It's a little bit cheaper than the last one. It's 9.99, and it's from Martinborough. Nice simple label. Yeah, lovely label. Now, obviously, in the UK, the majority of the wines we see come from Marlborough. But actually, Martinborough are producing some really yeah. nice wines yeah. too. We just don't see so many of them. Yeah, absolutely. Now, that's very mm. different on the nose, yeah. isn't it? It's very different from the last one. You're not getting that grapefruit there. You're not really getting that passion fruit. And you're not getting gooseberry, actually. No, no. In fact, do you think, do you think Martinborough is kind of less gooseberry than yeah, Marlborough definitely, is? It yeah. seems to be the case, doesn't this it? It's always apple -y. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's quite a mineral wine, actually. Mm. Pure, dead straight, acidic, fresh, but with some weight. It has got more weight than the other, hasn't it? Yeah. And Tamuna actually means secret place. Quite oh, sounds kind of romantic. I do like the sound of a secret place. Possibly not on a main road. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether the road is a main one or not, but well, hey, let's hope it's some nice little romantic kind of green arch, you know, lots of trees, lots of... But in New Zealand, yeah. it's unlikely to be the case, yeah. is it? Highway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. But mm. what's it saying? It says, enjoy wherever there is some surf and seafood. We've got sun here today and we're having fish for supper. Not a lot of surf in Stroud, it has to be said. No. <laughs> but the sun, yeah, the sun is doing its best, isn't it? It's Does that mean we can drink this one tonight? Yeah, I think we can. Sounds Cheers. good. So we are back to Marlborough for our last wine. It's a cloudy bay. It's a Tococo, 2006 vintage, and it's available from slurp.co.uk. And with this, we really have pushed the boat out. It's basically heading for the horizon because it's £20.70 a uh, bottle. It is not a cheap option. A lovely golden colour. Um, let's see what it's like. Now, it's £20.70 for two reasons. One is that it's uh, part of it is barrel fermented with indigenous yeast, so you've got to pay for the barrels, which is it's unusual in New Zealand to put so many long. And in you can barrels. get that open the nose, yeah, can't yeah, you? Absolutely, it's really quite rich, yeah. quite peppery, yeah. sort of oak. Um, and the second is that it's Cloudy Bay, which you know it's a name. And Cloudy Bay, it did put New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc on the map, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, this Cloudy Bay. It got a, it's got a cult following and people, you know, still talks cloudy bay, cloudy bay. God, you can see why. That is delicious. Oh. I, just, I love oak with Sauvignon. Mm. It really rocks my boat. Oh, it makes it a really different animal, doesn't it? It's lovely. It is so... It's heavy, it's savoury, it's structured, but it's not chewy. It's just yummy. Oh. And there's bizarrely a little bit of coffee in there, isn't there? There is, but it must be from the oak. Um, really quite spicy, savoury and delicious. So as the boat disappears over the horizon, Sandra and I are sitting on the dock of the bay, finishing off our glasses. Or maybe in this case we'll have two. Oh yeah. See you, See you next, next week. week. <laughs>